Hey, welcome back to this mini lecture on black box algorithms. Um, first off, I'm going to talk about the relation between algorithms and AI. Uh, alg algorithms, as you probably know, are a set of complex instructions or rules that a computer needs to follow when solving a certain problem. Uh, in relationship to this, artificial intelligence is a collection of algorithms working together to enable machines to replicate human bear behavior. As a result, uh, AI is fully dependent on algorithms which make it up. Uh, what is the importance of this relation between algorithms and AI relationship? Uh, algorithms form the basis of AI, and hence we need to have a clear understanding of the underlying algorithms for which we require the, the right governance mechanisms. Uh, in short, if we do not understand individual algorithms, it is impossible to understand the AI they build to. So if you don't know the individual parts of, of a whole, you can't understand the whole. So what's a black box? In science, computing and engineering, a black box is a device system or object produces useful information without revealing any information about its internal workings. The explanations for its conclusions remain opaque or black, so a black box. So again, you don't know anything within it and its internal workings. So from black box, what's a black box algorithm? A black box algorithm is one where the user cannot see the inner workings of the algorithm. It is a rather controversial system due to the secrecy they contain, the lack of transparency, although its creators defend it as a security and privacy system to avoid data leaks and unfair competition. So it's really difficult, if not impossible, to see their inner workings. So they have their use um, because they can protect people's privacy, etc. Uh, and that's good, but are they justified when they lack transparency? Uh, there are various possibilities and perils of black box algorithms. The most worthy, uh, worrying use of algorithms and policy are so-called black, black box algorithms, those in which the inputs and processes are hidden from public view. This may be because they are considered to be proprietary information. For example, the factors underpinning the COMPASS system used in the U.S. to measure the likelihood of reoffending for prisoners are not publicly available because they are treated as company property. As a result, algorithms can have real world uses, like in terms of helping uh, judges, etc., see who who is at a higher risk of offending. But the opacity of these black box algorithms can be troubling. So, like for example, how do you appeal a criminal sentence if it's partially decided by a AI? Uh, a couple of different um, black box problems. One is opacity. As the statistician David Spiegelhalter has observed, there's no practical difference between judges using algorithms and judges following sentencing guidelines. The important difference is solely and significantly that sentencing guidelines are clearly understood, publicly available, and subject to democratic debate. As a result, as I asked before, how do we appeal an algorithm sentence? When it's less clearly understood, it's not necessarily publicly available, and there may not be any type of debate about the, about its its inner workings. Also, black box have a problem of complexity. Uh, the other form of black box algorithm is one in which the information is publicly available, but too complex to be readily understood. This again can have dire implications. The algorithm that decides who is made redundant cannot be reasonably understood by employees or indeed employers. It is a poor tool for managers and one that causes unhappiness. The public policy of an algorithm's outworkings are too complex. They can confuse debate rather than helping policymakers come to better decisions. And from this, how can you inspire employees or public debate given its complexity? Because complexity can make employment decisions hard to understand. And it can make policy decisions also hard to understand. So it can jeopardize both of those things. Um, but there are some s ways to sol uh, help solve this problem of black box algorithms. Uh, Sp Spiegelhalter uh, proposes a four-phase process for algorithms in machine learning and public policy in the workplace, comparable to the process that UK pharmaceuticals must go through in order to be approved. One reason that plan is a good one is that it could avoid a world-ending mistake, but it could also avert minor tragedies and public policy failures, like again, public policy or labor um, decisions. Here's the four-phase process. Phase one, digital testing. This is a performance on various test cases where you check the accuracy in these test cases. Number two is lab testing, where you can make a comparison between the AI and with humans and user testing. So this is where you assess the quality of humans and AI judgments to see if they're concordant or discordant. Three is field testing, where you have controlled trials of impact and, and from this, you have a sort of a small test in the field, and you'll see if the AI does more harm than good. Obviously, if it's good, then 
uh, if it's good more than bad, more than harmful, then you'll want to keep it if uh, that makes sense. And obviously the opposite would also hold true. Then finally you get to routineous where you monitor for problems as the AI is, is used on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, here's a variety of conclusions. Uh, black box algorithms can be useful to protect confidentiality, which is good. However, their opacity and complexity can lead to major problems regard, uh, regarding oversight, such as labor situations, uh, if AI is used to make employee decisions, or in public policy. As a result, we need to push to make BBAs more transparent and open to scrutiny. Uh, that was a mini lecture on black box algorithms. My name is Dino. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like this video. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And please feel free to comment below. Do you think black box algorithms have their use? If not, what should we do to, uh, to deal with them? Um, given their, their complexity and opacity, how can we deal with those uh, very real problems? Uh, regardless, uh, thanks for watching. Take care.